we are going to be doing hard cutting journalism here on Cine Radio because we're going to have Jeff come on in and talk about his experience with the new blip policy. Waiting for him to come in. Oh. Also, it would help if I do this. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, can you see me? Uh, no, I can't as of this time. I, I just see that see epic you. fucking little, uh, avatar of yours. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, um... <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh... That's actually a commission done by Tai Puro, who, uh, does Jerry... Jerry Nava's, uh, title cards. Same Jerry Nava's I'm thinking of? Uh, Film Renegado. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful work. Mm -hmm. Beautiful work. Uh, just so yep. you know, uh, you're new on the show. You're new on the show. But you won't be able to see me because my camera's being used. Uh, what the? F what the fuck happened there? I'm not trying to make fun of you, by the way. Oh no, of course not. Even though you're putting on glasses where I already have glasses. <laughs> yeah, that I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. I'm not. I'm really sure. <laughs> I really don't know how that even happened. It's okay. <laughs> um, uh, God damn it. God damn this system. <laughs> Why the hell did I use this fucking new program? <laughs> Fuck. Even in the future, nothing works. God damn you. Remove. Remove. Damn it. I'm commanding you to remove. I'm Like I said, I... I I am embarrassed about that. I don't even know. I actually, I think I do know. I think that was supposed to be supposed to be a joke set up for fucking Tony Helms when he come on that stupid state law. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, doing so my best. Let me just... Yeah, uh, have fun. At least it's a guys... good fun. At least it's funny for the viewers. Well, I'm not above looking. I'm not above looking silly. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Problem is, I do not want that on there. Just continue talking. I will do my best to get oh. rid of that in infraction as soon as possible. I don't know what I'm oh, doing. Well, um, hope everybody can get a good look at my Scott Pilgrim vs. the World poster. <laughs> I actually set it up a couple of days ago. Although, um, it's I, I consider it one of my favorite films. But uh, anyway, I actually pulled up the emails that blip sent me you know, just, so, of course there's some that I have to you know cut down uh, for for time because I don't want to bore anybody uh, you want to just go ahead and do that yes feel free just read whatever you have to say I unfortunately have Computerly it has jokes fucking that are working that I don't want right now because this is supposed to be a serious fucking affair. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Oftentimes I hear comedy's a lot better when you try and play it straight. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> uh basically I sent an email to Blip on like the twenty first and I just said, you know, my name's Jeff Gwinnup, and I produce a comic book review show called Where No Way. And I was just going to see if I could have my show page updated to the new style. You know, how everybody has that. You know, with the new look and everything. And, and, and I told him that I had the photos and I had everything set to the specific blip parameters. And I was just wondering if there was something else I needed to do. And so they... Uh, they come back in like the same day, the same night, and they say they're gonna pass the, they're gonna pass the email to their content review team, you know, uh, and and see and see if they would and see if they would take care of it. So let's see. So basically, they're telling you that they're going to take your show. We're gonna have our crack team of experts review it. And tell and tell you if it's up to par with our standards. Yeah, for the most part, they're 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 saying that they're going to take 
the show and show it to their content review team because they were in charge of giving enhanced pages. So I get a so I get an email later that day and it says and and they give and they give the this long spiel about, you know, we're reviewing the content libraries and and everything like that and they give the little uh the little web page with the important update for blip and the terms of service and whatever and then they go <clears throat> after reviewing your account it's clear that your content is better suited for open platforms such as youtube or paid pro- paid eh, paid platforms such as vimeo in the education space vendors such as kaltura are also available i didn't even know kaltura existed i've never heard of that one your either ca- so it says, your account will be closed on June 30th, 2013. Please take the time now to move your content to another service, service provider better suited to your streaming needs. Since that time, I actually have moved my my videos, at least the majority of them, to uh, Daily Motion, And I am also moving moving them to uh, YouTube. That's Since actually, I hear YouTube's... That's, go ahead. Honestly, Jeff, that's actually the smart move. Uh, I started moving all my stuff over to YouTube slowly. And yes, you're not going to get the ad revenue. You're not going to get the ad revenue. But guess what? Unless you're breaking 100000 on fucking Blip, you're not getting any ad revenue that's worth a dime anyways. Yeah, I, I, was, I wasn't getting any ad revenue anyway. I was, I, was, I was averaging at, what, 20 cents a video? And, and okay, just out, of curio- just out of curiosity, how many, uh, on an average, how many views do you get every video? Well... Um, I would say a minimum. It depends on what I'm posting, because I didn't just post episodes of my show. I also posted um, some videos that I produced for a friend of mine. I produced some episodes for his show, and uh, and I also did little riffs on uh, on little public domain stuff. You know, kind of like that guy riffs or last geek riffs or yeah, last it's, geek it, riffs or whatever. It's basically the generic, the generic. Uh follow the leader kind of video yeah no offense yeah. no, dis- no offense to you i'm just saying in general it is um i'm i'm not afraid to admit that uh that i did come in kind of on the heels of uh linkara especially in like coming in comic book views and it is sort of this st- and it is sort of the standard you know uh look at the scene find something funny laugh about it or or point out an analysis it's it's it is very in that same model, um, and I'm not afraid to admit it. That being said, I am trying to differentiate myself in that while he takes a look at single issues, I like to look at story arcs. I like to look at you know complete stories. But see, I like that. I actually I like that because I hate that about a lot. Of, I'm a comic book guy. A lot of people don't realize this, but I actually am a comic book guy. I am the do- biggest diehard Batman fan you'll ever meet. And mm-hmm. I hate that these comic book reviewers sit there and constantly, and I do mean constantly, only focus on the like, one episode, even though one little issue of a story, little 12-page issue of a story, even though it's supposed to be an introduction or a mid-issue of a bigger story. Right. And 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 that's that's kind of why I shifted to... To, to that format. So, uh, going back to the email here, I asked them, I asked them later if there was anything I could do to maybe get them to reconsider. So, and I even sent an email two days later because they hadn't replied until they hadn't replied. I said, "Would it help if I would it help keep my show on Blip TV if if I had uh, removed all the other content that wasn't part of my show or that featured me? You know, basically getting rid of all the." Uh, the the riffs, my friend's show, which uh, which we haven't really worked on in about a year and a half, mostly because he's now uh, going into teaching, so he doesn't have the time. But I was trying to see what I could do so I wouldn't have to go through the trouble of relocating all my files. So I get this email on the thirtieth, and they say, unfortunately, we just don't feel there's an audience for your series on Blip. We'd recommend taking the time before your ac- account is closed on June thirtieth to move your content to another service provider. Thanks, Blip, su- Blip producer for support. 
And that was pretty much the last thing I ever heard about that. Now, I, I admit on, uh, on Twitter, uh, especially first uh, seeing that email, I got pretty pissed. I, I, was I would, very, I would be too. Off. I would be too. I would be fucking bloodthirsty. <laughs> I, I was, I was very, very angry about that and uh, bitter. Yeah, very bitter. Uh, so much so that I, I just took to Twitter and, and of course I tried not to make a complete ass of myself because that's just not, that's just not cool. You put your, you bitched that bl- you bl- you bitched on Twitter. That's pretty much not existing. <laughs> <laughs> Bitching on Twitter, yeah, never happened before. <laughs> no, but, I'm just saying, um, make, not making an ass out of yourself while you're bitching on Twitter is pretty much not existing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I had said something about to the effect of, uh, you know, they're saying that there's an audience to my show, and I thought, and and of course, I, this is just my silly, short-sighted thinking. I thought, oh, maybe he means comic review shows. Wait a minute, I have a comic review show. But, but then again, I then again I uh, and then of course you and then of course I made the art, I made a little snide joke. You know, I wasn't trying to bring anybody into this. Uh, I made a snide joke. It's like, well, Linkara, uh, last year geek, time to pack it up, boys. But <laughs> oh, I'm sure that went over so well. <laughs> oh no, no, I I I made sure to apologize. I, I made sure to apologize to them afterwards because. Because, uh, like I said, I was being bitter, and Linkara actually talked to me, and he said, and he said, you know, it's okay, you know, he totally understands, totally understands my feelings about it. So, and and actually, a lot of my friends have come out and uh, shown their support, and I am so very thankful for them. They are the best friends ever. Zenith will rule, uh, Rosenhacker, uh, Susie. Uh, thanks, Susie, again for. For, for your support too, um, uh, and it 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 has been it's just been really really eye opening. Uh, like I said, I've I've been hearing about this stuff getting ready to happen and blip for a while now. The rumors are running rapid about mm-hmm. them deleting counts and everything else, and I haven't met somebody who actually had it happen yet. So I assumed it was just kind of a myth and an internet rumor. But this is the, this here is the first victim of what's going to happen. And honestly, this is why I'm telling everybody, and I do mean everybody who makes internet videos, to cross-post everything on YouTube. And one, more people are more likely to find you on YouTube through cross-fucking-linking and searching. And two, you're not going to have to deal with this fucking goddamn political bullshit. Yeah, um... I would say that they are, and and you know, I can understand what Blip's trying to do. They want to be a bigger business. They want to be, uh, uh, they want to be like a legitimate alternative to television. And you know, that's that's great. More power to them. I'm just saying that is that in in making that step, a lot of people might end up getting the acts that m- that might not deserve it. I, I can admit I have seen your show. I haven't seen a lot of them, but I have seen one or epi- one or two episodes of your show. Mm-hmm. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen on bl- on a blip channel. I've seen thanks. God, I, I all right as as you probably know, I used mm-hmm. to work on a show called uh, Critic TV TGW TG TV, where our yeah. job was to basically watch reviewers and make jokes about the reviewers in a parody mm-hmm. of a new show. I've seen your videos. I've seen a lot of videos, and your videos are not the worst things I've ever seen on Blip. I've seen some really bad videos on Blip. I mean, I've seen some horrible bl- videos on Blip, and the fact that you got to lead it, and I'm pretty sure if I search any of one of these individuals that I can say actually had horrible videos, I guarantee they're probably still up. So why did you get to lead it? Uh, well... To be honest, I, I, I can't answer. I can't answer that. I can't answer that with any sort of certainty. I can only, I can only say from what I've gone through in my experience is that this happened as soon as I started asking for an expanded page. You know, for for the enhanced page. It could just be that I just had the dumb luck of getting on their radar. 
Yeah, that's very possible because I know I do have I have a secondary blip page that I only use for one instance. Mm-hmm. And I just recent I just literally checked it right now to see if it was still air if it still was up and running. And I have three little promo videos with a non registered fucking blip account. Mm-hmm. Three little promo videos that were my promo videos for me coming to RVT. Because it was supposed to be this whole mis- like this whole mystery guy was supposed to come onto the site. Kind of, mm-hmm. kind of storyline, and you know, I was supposed to, you know, it was supposed to be a big surprise. It happens in a radio hit RVT, so I made these little promo video- videos to build it up on a second blip account, just to promote the show. And those three fucking videos are still up. That blip account's still up. So how the fuck is that still up and yours isn't? <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it's really just one of those things. I. Uh, yeah, but yeah, biohybrid. Uh, yeah, it's. I, I I guess I just tried to make, uh, just try to do one thing and you know try and promote my try and promote my show and, um, and I had considered maybe it was they thought my video and audio quality wasn't uh as wasn't as high as as other people's. I mean, you know, there's nothing I can do about that at this point because. It's, Yet again, I've seen your it, videos. It, it is what it is. I've seen your videos. Right. It's not perfect, but it's not the worst I've seen. Right. I can I can I can I'm honestly I know right now people looking at the uh Skype camera right now, that's not the image you see in his videos. This right. is a whitewash this is a whitewash mess. But his videos is very good picture quality, at least four eighty. It's at least a 480 quality. It's decent. Mm-hmm. It's not horrible audio. It it goes a little robotic every now and then, but that's a very rare occasion. The guy makes decent videos. He's not. Thank you. The guy makes great decent videos. I mean, if you wanna, you're gonna compare him to like a fucking Tigra Taker. Yeah, guess what? That's fucking comparing the Yankees to fucking goddamn Johnny fucking Johnny A Ball and fucking your goddamn fucking Pee Wee team. <laughs> it's it's kind of like comparing Superman to Captain Underpants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like it's like comparing like a big a, a a professional versus somebody who's working in the fucking underground. Right. So so why are they fucking deleting these accounts? I don't understand this. I I get what they're trying to do for their image, but why? Well, a rumor I had heard, and I'm not sure if this is true, so I I don't really know if you can quote me on this, but I had heard that they want to, uh, they want to, uh, that it takes a whole lot of bandwidth, that it takes a whole lot, uh, ho- takes a whole lot of bandwidth and a lot of processing to hold as many viewers as they can. So, I I. I, I don't want to I don't want to go out there and say that you know they're just being dicks you know even though at my, even though at the time I felt they were because you know a show that uh, you know a show an account that I had on there for three years and it gets pulled because I try and because I try and you know do something to improve it and yeah I'm, you know I'm I'm gonna say it's I'm I'm gonna be a little bit bitter I mean it still kind of stings it, but it's justifiable. I'm, yeah, but I'm moving on from it. You know, it is what it is, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's progress. You know, it's bu- it's it's business. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not taking it personally anymore because it's not doing me any good. All right, I do know there's been some recent news about a blip signing a contract with a major major producer from YouTube. Do you mm-hmm. think that might have anything to do with them trying to clean up the fucking catalog a little bit? Uh, I don't know. You to don't be know. With you, I, I, I don't uh, think I you. Know, think I, I don't. I don't think you know what I'm talking about. Um, I do rec- not. Re- recently, Ray Williams Johnson, the guy from Equals Three, has decided mm-hmm. to leave YouTube and sign an exclusive contract with Blip. Okay. Uh, do you think that might have something to do with? 
something to do with the fact that they're trying to clean up the fucking website and clean out the bandwidth and clean out the fucking videos. Do you think they're trying to, uh, do you almost, do you think Blip might be trying to actually, like, raid YouTube's fucking catalog and try to get the guys, get those bigger names over and they just don't want to fucking compete? Well, to be honest, I'm kind of blanking on who Ray William Johnson is. But, uh, he's uh, the guy that does. He's the guy that does Eagles Three. Eagles, Eagles three, three. Eagles Three. It's a uh, show that basically rev- basically talks about the YouTube videos of the week. Oh, okay. He's also well, he's also uh, has an amazing band called My Favorite Martian. Ah, uh, okay. Well, otherwise it, also known as it could as be. The I, it, also, it could be. I also, I have no oh. idea about Blips. Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> um. I have no idea about uh, Blip's practices or why they're doing what they're doing, and, fi- and quite frankly, I don't see why they why they would why a business model would be you know here let's poach the guys from YouTube when the guys from YouTube could just as easily cross promote. Yeah, but the thing is, you think the fact that they're trying to grab the bigger guys from YouTube might have something to do with the fact that they're trying to clear out the lesser guys almost like no see we're professional we have the nostalgic critic we have the nostalgic chick we have Todd of the shadows we have what the fuck is wrong with you we have the buddy perspective look at our great shows oh uh, don't 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 no don't don't cross rate that don't look at that don't 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 look at that don't 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 look at that okay yeah, we're deleting those soon. Those are bad accounts. Uh, those are trolls. Uh, look at these guys. Look at our fun people. Look at our good guys. And uh, yeah, don't look over at the left. Don't look over there at the fucking. Don't look out. Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> um. To be honest with you, like I said, I, I don't know if that's the reason why they're doing that. It could be. I, it, if that's the case, then yeah, that's kind of a poo-poo on their part. I mean, it's it's kind of a it, it'd be kind of a shitty move on their part. But like I said, I don't know. And like and 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 again, you know, why why go to YouTube? Why why go to YouTube and try and what? take their talent when they can just and like I said, just as easily they can cross promote. I mean, you can have your cake and eat it too well, when it comes Jeff, to getting Jeff, YouTube. Why why go to YouTube? YouTube is the next network television channel of this of entertainment. YouTube gets more view. Uh, a, a, a generic YouTube show actually can get as much views as a network TV show at this point. Right. And, I mean, like a guy like and, I, I don't want to go back to Ray William, Ray Williams, Jochen, Smosh. You know, guys yeah. like that can get up to twelve up to 12 million views an episode, 2 to 12 million views an episode, where a syndicated ep- where a syndicated TV show can barely get 2 to 3 million. So it is obviously a logical choice. No, you know, you're right, you're right, and, you're right. And this is YouTube's standard. I mean, YouTube can make, can this is why YouTube is going to be the, the, the era of the future. That's the TV network of the future. But and, do you think and you, Blip and you is feel that Blip is hitching its hitching its uh, wagon to it? Oh yeah, they're they're trying to they're trying to ride the coattails, but trying to make himself seem better and bigger. I think it's all a marketing ploy. It's just to say, mm-hmm. hey, we're bigger and better than YouTube. Look at our talent. <laughs> uh, well. I will say YouTube does have a bit of a bit more of a foothold in the cultural zeitgeist, but uh, like I said, I, I I can't speak for Blip and its uh, its its practices. I can't I I can't I'm not very business savvy. I I'm not I'm not a business person. I uh, from 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 what you're in, from what you're telling me, yeah. It's it's a logical thing for them to do to want to try and get a foot up. As far as whether they're like just shunning lesser known reviewers, I would think that if they were trying to do that, they would have been more proactive at it. They would have been more aggressive at it. I mean, we would be hearing a lot more. 
Well, that's the thing. You don't, you don't do this in the public. You tear it down slowly. Chip it away. Hmm. <clears throat> you don't, you don't sit there and like basically do a blitzkrieg on the fucking content you don't want. You don't just delete everybody's account because then there'll be a major backlash. Which do is you slowly chip it away until you only have the content you want. Yes, that's conspiracy theories, but I think that's what Blip's trying to do. I think they're slowly trying to chip away at all the content they don't want, and so they only have their big stars, and eventually probably make it a pay site. Like, hey, if you want to post your videos here, you have to pay a subscription fee. Well, I'm not sure they're going to do that for quite a while. Well, I'm talking. This is like a five ten. This is like I'm talking like a five ten year plan. Right. Yeah. It's it, it's not something I foresee them doing like immediately, especially with like their especially with like their lower, their uh with uh them trying to seem inclusive, especially to people with uh, higher end equipment. Like uh. Yeah, I, I I know what you're saying because I've seen several blip series, and I've seen some amazing blip series. I've seen mm -hmm. guys who have professional quality shows on blip, but you also notice they only do like three episodes and then basically disappear. Yeah, or they only do you know they only do like uh, one well, one episode per month because these being smaller studios. They take a lot more time. Well, that's understandable for a smaller studio. Plus, people on the web have a lot less attention span than like a network viewer. Like you mm -hmm. can't get you like say a show like I don't know, just for the sake of argument, Sons of Anarchy. You can't do like a twenty six a twenty six episode series in twenty six weeks and then go on I hate it for the rest of the year so you can make it. Web series has to be constantly updated, or people are gonna forget and get distracted. Mm-hmm. It's nature of the beast. But the problem is, is that there is a lot of big. There's people who have professional quality on Blip, but they don't get the views, so they ended up they end up doing three episodes and moving on. Versus the guys mm -hmm. who are like us, who are the underground guys, who are the fucking passionate people, who don't care about our views and constantly keep making content. Is this a big middle finger to us, the underground guys? Or is it kind of, is it Blip basically saying we only want the best of the best? It can be, it can be seen that way. It, it can definitely be seen that way, depending on how you take it. Especially if you're in, especially if you're in my position, and and I admit it, I did kind of, I, I did, I took it personally. Not even gonna lie, I, I took it personally when I got the emails and said, you know, uh, your stuff's, uh, your stuff uh, is better suited for YouTube, or your stuff's better, uh, or 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 your stuff just doesn't have an audience. I took it personally. Who wouldn't? I mean, this is stuff that I take out. This is stuff that I take time out of my out of my life to put together, and hope that and hope that people like it. Not just that, but because I enjoy talking about comic books, because I love comic books. I mean, and, I'm, and I also and like, like I to said, make people feel. And Go also, I, also, I've seen your show, and it's a great entertainment, entertaining, and informative show. Mm hmm. And. And and that's and that's what I wanted to and that's what I like doing. I like to I like to put forth a good show. I mean, sometimes it's just not gonna. Sometimes it's not gonna be as good as say. Uh, it's not gonna be as high quality as say like uh, Red versus Blue, or it's. I mean, I'm I'm not even even I'm not even close to Linkara, and but I'm not. I'm not trying to be Linkara. I'm not trying to be him, you know. I'm trying to do what I love to do, which just happens to be something he loves to do. Yet again, sorry, hmm? lost. I was live editing, so I lost my train of thought there. 
But, uh... Honestly, I, I, I honestly almost feel like it's something weird happening on Blip. I mean, like, I, I like what they're doing with the ad blocker thing, like putting up the, the page there and telling you you have to wait a minute mm -hmm. versus 30 seconds. Because that's basically what Hulu does. That's a good step. But yeah, I, I like it, what they're doing, but I just don't like their approach. Well, the the ninety second thing versus the uh, just like forty five to sixty second thing, I think was meant uh, you, you know, it's meant as a deterrent. You know, it's just like, wow, we're it's like so instead of uh, instead of muting an ad. Which mute, muting a sixty second ad, which can only take sixty seconds of your life, sixty seconds of your life, we're gonna take ninety. But, but I understand, but I understand why they're doing it. You know, advertisers are very hesitant to. Uh, a advertisers are hesitant to fully commit to internet marketing, uh, especially on, especially on sites like Blip. Or, or even or, or YouTube because because they have ad blockers because they have people who say you know we don't want to we don't want to watch commercials we don't want to watch this we don't want to watch that we just want to watch what we want to watch and again that's understandable too so there's really no wrong argument here Yeti <laughs> sorry <laughs> Sorry, I'm That's okay. live editing. It's always fun when you're doing a job of ten. What a normal studio does with ten people all by yourself. You get you get focused on that little square, trying to fucking get all those little fucking edits correct, and it's like, oh wait, what, what did you say? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. the The ads were actually playing on your stream, and I could and I could barely make out what you were saying about the ads. So I just like, oh, he wants to talk about the ads. Okay, uh, I've already <laughs> told you, live stream does not pay me. Use ad blocker. <laughs> okay. I don't give a shit. These guys, these fucking cocksuckers, it wasn't for the fact that they fucking had better video quality and don't fucking sit there and, and don't sit there and fucking bot me constantly about copyrighted material. I'll be fucking off this fucking stream inside in a second. <laughs> Use ad blocker. They don't pay me. As soon as they offer me a fucking partner plan that's not going to cost me 500 a month, will in business, but still. <laughs> all right i gotta get ready for uh super state laws we're already way over time on this one so what i'm gonna do is sure. i'm gonna give you three minutes to tell everybody what your show is you okay. like that idea uh get, wait sure. wait I'll... wait for it wait for it, it? one two <laughs> three it's your time uh, Way or No Way is essentially a show that I came up with after watching uh, Atop the Fourth Wall and loving the shit out of it. So I I looked at it and I go, hey, I love comic books, so I, so I want to talk about comic books on the internet. So, And that's what I've been doing for at least the past three years. So what I do is I wear my Green Lantern ring here, like so. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. And I talk about various uh, various uh, comics. I I right now in the middle of Justice League New Fifty Two. I'm just taking care of the first six issues. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Uh, and coming up soon, I will be talking about New Fifty Two Aquaman, which I highly recommend, especially if you're an Aquaman fan. I also have a not very extensive, but a pretty good uh, library of comics here that I'm going to be going through. Uh, the Mega Man series from Archie Comic Books, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, Marvel's Power Pack, uh, Adam Strange, Shazam, Clandestine. Oh, I want to, I really want to get, take a look at Clandestine. I really want to talk about that. Um, uh, the Goon, which, if anybody's seen my videos, you know how much I fucking love The Goon, Eric Powell. Uh, it's it's a fantastic series. Um, what I do is I go over is I go over and yes, it is the standard summarize riff, but there is also analysis. I um, I had done the Superman three adaptation comic book. It exists. I've seen it. I have it. 
Um, gone through the Superman 4 adaptation comic book. Uh, went through Frank Miller, Holy Terror. Holy shit, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad enough to spawn its own crappy storyline. <laughs> um, oh, I actually fell in love with the character, with the Marvel character Hercules. Got to talk to Bob Layton, who uh, had gotten to uh, work on Iron Man, and he and he wrote uh, Hercules, uh, Prince of Power, which I actually was able to review. And in fact, there is a really good issue in which Hercules drinks. Uh, Hercules tries to drink Galactus under the table. Not even shitting you. And uh, yeah, all these uh, all these videos, I'm going to be moving over to Daily Motion and onto YouTube. And uh, if it, to find me on Daily Motion, it's Writer's Block. It's same as my Twitter and my uh, and and, uh, and it's my and it's my handle. So. And on YouTube, it's it's the writer's block because somehow somebody took writer's block from me, even though I even though when I made it years ago, I uh, I specifically spelled it that way, not because poor literacy is cool, but because, you know, I wanted it to be unique, different. Well, and uh, long story short, when I made it up, I was uh, I, I was very blocked in in high school when I, when I, when I made it. So yeah, um, cup, uh, a couple other things I'm going to be doing, uh, as soon as I get all this stuff situated is I'm going to be doing a couple of crossovers, uh, in the near future. Um, also going to take a look at a couple of, uh, comics that aren't exactly in the mainstream because, because, uh, because a lot of people, because a lot of people are starting to get fed up with DC and Marvel, myself included, especially with the Spider-Man bullshit, and and especially with the DC New Fifty Two and the way that editorials treating its staff and and, and editorials treating its writers, and and it shows it, it shows it shows on the page, it shows it shows everywhere. I mean, there's even a, there's even a website called Has DC Done Something Stupid Lately dot com. Go ahead, check it out. Um, but my show, it's, it's a simple, it's a simple comic review show featuring a very simple guy who loves to talk about comic books. And that's really, that's really the long and short of it. So I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. I will be, I will be trying to work on improving the quality of the audio in the video so it can be even better. But as far as Blip's concerned, since I'm off there, I no longer have a dog in the fight, so pff, whatever. Their loss. And thanks. And thanks for that great summary. By the way, where can we find you now? See now you're no longer on Blip. Um, I am at Daily Motion. Uh just look for Writer's Block. Uh spelled W R I T R Z B L O K. And get feel free to drop a link into the chat so everyone can check that show out by the way i have seen this guy's show it is very well done it, yet again he doesn't have the camera he doesn't have the microphone but his his commentary is fucking top par thank you thank you very much it, it, it was by the way it was great having you on it great was being here it, it was great having you on uh i guess like i always end this Every time I do this, I always have to end it with, uh, I got to get back to music, but mm -hmm. it's great having you on, and ho hopefully everything works out well for you, because there is life after Blip. There is life after Blip, and we can all go back to that comedian conglomerate that's called YouTube and probably get more views. Mm-hmm. So, good luck in your future. Thank you, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Mm-hmm. All right. Night. Night.